Well, what's up guys welcome back to another um welcome back to the channel yeah i was gonna say welcome back to another series but yeah it's the first episode of a new series that i'd be adding to the channel which would be scheduled to be released every sundays around 10 a.m est so the day after satisfactory release you guys will get the release of this new series this series would consist of a game called Bootsum. I had the game for a while, I've played it on stream a couple times before. Uh, and so I've decided to do a let's play series on the game today. As one in this episode has been recorded, pre-recorded on Monday. So before the Monday before you guys actually get access. And the Tuesday after this one satisfactory is going to be recorded. If you guys have any suggestions for the satisfactory series, you can also leave a comment down in the comment section of this video also. And guys, let's get into it. The name of our little floating city is going to be Knuckle Cove. And no, I did not come up with that name that was randomly generated. Oh, we landed right next to some um, plastic. I should have sat off by sending one of them to grab some plastic. And... Uh, do we have any wood nearby? My god, no. So much the map. Ow. Wood is quite down there. And there. A lot of plastic. Um the map is procedurally generated by the way. Right, so who's um picking up the plastic flounder? Uh so flounder is the fisher. An Arclic. Yeah. Uh, Rusty is the um, researcher. That's one of his perks. And uh, I can't really make out the name there. Truly, what I'm going to call her. She is the um, book. So that's the three perks we have. Um, let's get start building some stuff. we're gonna drop this down there I'm gonna build out from here that will like about there so let me know what you guys think of the game if you guys have seen the game before and what are your thoughts on the game so far down in the comments? I will be continuing this series for a while. As long as my civilization survives. Uh, to start off, I'm not going to fast forward the game as much as I would normally. I'm just waiting for them to build the plastic recycler. Once he's done building the plastic recycler, we do the plastic uh, scraps into plastic, actual usable plastic. You get the actual name. Plastic waste uh, floaters, right? So that's the actual name they're called. And since the last time I've played, there has been some changes. Like you can see the UI has been changed a bit. Okay, so we have to go into here and put out the loop. Bit in plastic. I also want to have a storage right next to that. Uh, I think I'm going to priori prioritize that storage to have probably plastics or something. I 
As you can see, we only have nine food. We have three citizens right now. Um, so that nine food is going to last us three days. I have 15 water. That's going to last us a while too. Uh, let's go into... What the hell can I... There it is. I'm going to filter none, and then we're going to click on the floaters. Right, so we have to build beds for them. Uh, the downside is we need to get more floaters. Uh, is she done collecting the plastic? Alright. Now that that plastic is done, I'm going to move over here. Let's move here to get some logs. You can. Uh, Oh, oh, oh. Right, so we're gonna get some logs from that island. I'm gonna send one person to have to dry logs, and we're gonna. Then build this right here. Also, we're going to do the same. We're going to build a storage next to that and prioritize that storage for the um dry dry wood. Also, let's put someone to harvest this here. As you can see, we have energy up on the top right of the screen. That's how much power we have in our boat. We can have them add more energy when they reach a certain level. I think yeah, there's the um, cog wheel in the back there, if that's what you call it, to recharge. We could get the, um, well, I think we would need that because that makes planks. And the beds use planks, so we would need the, um, sawmill. We can stick that right there. Uh, we need to extend the platform a bit, line it up. So they're all working together. We are done with that island. And so those tutorial notifications. Still on our first day on the island. A little floating city. We 
We have a bunch of wet logs. Or wet wood, same thing. Uh, unfortunately, your only convert only converts one at a time. We could upgrade that to three at a time later on. I am though going to take off dry wood off of there and the floaters off of there, they have their own storage. Okay, now that we have half a set of everything near, let's zoom out to the map and we're gonna move on to here. I can get some water from here, some firewood and some dry wood. I send someone to collect that. I think my um thing is built already, yeah. We're gonna queue up we need we need three beds right now. The bed takes two planks. Um, so we would need six planks. That's what that's queued up. That's a new, uh, building. Animation. It's a new building. Since the last time I played, they had a, um, I just noticed that. There was like a wood. Uh, all the woods were wood work was done in one building. Now they have it separated. Yes. Um, what's plastic going? Out of plastic. Uh, I'm gonna send someone here. Collect as much plastic as I could because I'm barely in the reach of it. We do have fish here, but we have to either unlock a fish boat or. Build one of these. Which we need plastic for. So it is probably stay in this little area for a while. Get stuff done. Get building. <clears throat> but as of right now, our priority is to get the beds. As you can see, Rusty is harvesting some wooden stuff across here. Once we get these scavenger boats, we it will be much easier because on their person they can only carry five items. On with the boat, I think they can carry ten, and it moves much faster between stuff. You can craft one bed right now. <coughs> Might as well. It's getting a bit dark. Uh, let's put the beds on this side. At least one person has a bed to sleep on tonight. I like how, like how it actually uses some bit of logic. As you, um, Rusty just fell asleep on the floor there. Um, really is still um, building that bed. She's probably going to be her bed anyway. And Flounder is already on the floor, sleeping.
I think I would actually use some bit of logic with the um wind spinning the gear that spins that turns into um what do you call that motion? Yeah, but basically the wind is spinning the spinning yeah. uh gear mechanism that swings the saw to cut the logs. Interesting perspective of that. She actually didn't sleep on bed, that's interesting. Even though it no it's actually flounder's bed, that's weird. Right, so let's just fast forward so that it becomes day faster. Right. And back to normal speed. Should let's go double speed for the second day so we get some stuff done faster. Speeds up, up a bit. Two more beds to make. Uh also, I am going to extend this out. I'm going to put the beds back to back. We have two more days of food, so we have to get that also sorted out. Longer just leveled up. Uh, I'm gonna level up flounders. But that, that is his, um, I may have pronounced that wrong, but whatever. Next, we're gonna do a fish, and that's the two that she's good at. Yeah, so she's exhausted from not sleeping on a bed. Which minus two points from a satisfaction. Rusty. Apparently, Rusty doesn't like to swim. Apparently. Minus one out of his satisfaction. He's also exhausted, he doesn't have a bed. Uh. Truly. Is God just the exhausted because she doesn't have a bed? So Rust, we have to watch on him and try to keep him from swimming. Uh, see if there's like a way to keep him from swimming. So far none. But as you can see, Rusty's two hearts good. He loves research, so that's probably what we're gonna level up. He does some have a bit of cooking ability. Interesting. So, who's that? That's Cruelly. Cruelly has the ability, has a 5 star of level 5 ability to craft. But she likes cooking. She prefers cooking and fishing. Hmm. Yes, I know you guys are exhausted because of the bed issue. Um, what do we need for the bed? This plastics. Is this a plastic thing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So we have to m move a bit. We got some plastics. We're just gonna move to the other side. Plastic is the main component of building, which is kind of what why we're lacking it because we use it to build platforms and stuff. We're gonna stack up on plastic for a while. Okay. 
can create another bed. And we can create another bed. And that will be the three beds that we need for those guys. Because of the um, exhaustion issue. Now well, we're gonna fast forward a bit and get stuff done. Show you guys as soon as this is done. It's already fast forward, but yeah, let's just. Fly through this. And the tree beds have been completed. already have that we could add another drying rock but right now we gotta have to focus on food which means you need one plank for that and how much planks three planks for this one so that's four planks so that the craft once that done we're gonna build it two right on the edge here because we only have food for two more days and they all have beds now. Uh, who leveled up there? Wasn't that was Rusty actually leveled up? I'm gonna put that into research. Uh, cruelly, cruelly, I keep pronouncing the name wrong. Also leveled up. Uh, since you already have crafting. I'm gonna leave that there, but I'm gonna level up a cooking skills. Right, let's see that back to normal. Hundred percent experience gained. All good now, it's just for them to finish having some stuff. There we go, we got enough to build the fishing platform. I'm gonna build that right there. Let's wait for the one more. Um, plank. There it is. To build the drying rack. Now we have some sort of a source of food, even though the food is technically going to be polluted. Uh, we need to create three more planks so we can start doing research. Which we're gonna just hopefully it fits it in that area there. If not, it's gonna be interesting. I don't have anything on water right now. Good craft four more planks for the water production.
And this needs to do bottle the fish, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the pollution of the food is at 18. I think that the next one is doing 9, so it drops it down a bit. But for now, that's what it's going to have to be at. How are we doing on the research stuff? Oh, that research bench is way smaller than it was before. A lot of shin since I last played. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below for the title of this series. I am looking at Stranded at Sea. Or Floating Island. Floating City. Possibly. As the a possible name for the series. Right, the research is done. Oh my god, the research tree has totally changed. So this one unlocks the rope crafter, which would need to upgrade the drying rock. And the, obviously the big drying rock upgrade. Then from that we can either get the chopping block, which I assume gives us the ability to make wood walkway. And to, well, chopping block. Okay, interesting. Scavenger boats we can also unlock, which obviously gives us the boats and the... So, but we only have three. As of yes, you see that uh, our researcher here is doing this research. I like the little animation of him building random stuff out of paper mache in the corner there. Um, I am going to put a storage right next to the fish spot here. I'm probably put another one on the other side. If it would have fit, but it's not okay. I probably extend that and go back. Um, so that storage is gonna be for the fish, normal fish, bottle to fish, so that we can store it right here instead of having to pick it up and carry it to the main storage. None, and it's gonna be bottled fish, normal. Fish. Well. Yeah, it's going to be those. At least we got any of those too. Um, let's click here and we're going to take that one off. Are right, they all going to go to bed? And I think that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. If you guys enjoyed this series, let me know what you guys think. Any ideas, any suggestions on how this series should proceed. 
and the style of the series. He did actually unlock the rope crafter, so we're gonna upgrade the production of the trying rock and stuff next episode. Remember, guys, this uh, series would be released for you guys on YouTube. I believe for you guys on Sunday, every Sundays. Uh, I am thinking that I would give patrons access to the videos early also. So the patrons would get access probably on Tuesdays or probably on Mondays. But for the first couple of episodes, while I figure out how the series is going to proceed, for the first couple of episodes we're not going to add it to patreon hey guys hope you guys enjoyed the series i'll see you guys in the next one remember satisfactory series every satisfactory series every saturdays and a day float some series will be every sundays hey guys hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one don't forget to drop a like hit that subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I release videos on YouTube.